Hi, welcome to Talking Tech at CES 2024. I'm your host, Marcus Yam, and this next segment is near and dear to my heart. We're talking about the NUC, and joining me once again is Fessel Habib, this time of Asus. This is a very familiar 4x4 form factor, small performance computers, and of course, I can't wait to talk about this one. So let's run through it. Sure, absolutely. These are the first generation of ASUS NUCs coming out of the door, right? So you, everybody's familiar with the 4x4 form factor. We've been shipping them for many years. This is the first one coming out with the ASUS branded NUC. And of course, this is all Meteor Lake. This is all Meteor Lake, absolutely. Intel Core Ultra. Con continuing to do the, continuing to hold to the old NUC uh, initiatives of pushing uncompromised performance in the smallest form factor. We're taking the Ultra 5, Ultra 7s, Ultra 9s, uh, Ultra 9s comes, gets pushed into this form factor, uh, anodized aluminum, pushing the performance up to 65 watts on the Meteor Lake. So we expect it to deliver uncompromised performance. It, this should be the best Meteor Lake product out there. And I like this little family portrait that we have here. Again, always showing there's something for everyone, all from different, uh, again, form factors, performance, IO, but of course, this one is one I can't take my eye off of. I know we love code names, so can you just quick for old time's sake, yes. old time's sake, yes. what are the code names? For we are still using the code names in house. It's a little bit of a different culture for, from as we merge into the organization. But these were Rebel Canyons. Uh, they they moved up to become Scorpion Canyon here. Scorpion Canyon. That's right. Okay. The gaming right. names were always in that genre, so we kept it. Uh, true to form. So, and, and and to be clear, uh, these are kind of the more traditional NUCs where you where the form factor really dictates its function. But this is a gaming NUC. So that's right. So let's spend some time on this one. Absolutely. So um, you may be familiar for people who've been following Talking Tech. We used to have the NUC enthusiast line, which as we came into ASUS, obviously we adopted the ROG product line because that is the gaming brand to follow. Uh, so this is our first ROG NUC. Uh, it's using Meteor Lake as well. So we're taking advantage of the latest from Intel, but also pushing in uh, NVIDIA's 4060 and 4070 graphics. In uh, two and a half liters, we're delivering almost every performance aspect you can think of. Three NVMe slots. You could do 24 terabytes of storage if you really want it. I don't know how many games that is, but you can get a lot of them. It still has Thunderbolt. It still has all of the things the creators would want in that form factor. And it'll play any triple-A game that you would like. And of course, all that original NUC gaming enthusiast heritage is in there. I see all the IO on the back. For Every, sure. Ev everything, that's right. Yeah. And of course, it's, it's small and light. You know, we've always talked about bringing these to land parties. Yep. This is, you get all the performance here. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is like being reacquainted with an old friend. Of course, ROG on the front, Absolutely. right? So, so Absolutely. thank you, thank you to ASUS for taking good care uh, of the NUC brand. Uh, is there still the same amount of customization? Where same amount of customization. We do allow our partners to DIY it, to change the logo, to if through their own brands. But of course, we will be shipping systems with the ROG brand, loud and proud. Uh, the advantage of the whole ASUS partnership is also, you know, from being a NUC business to now being part of a systems business. Now we have the ROG keyboards and mice and all of the accessories that allow us to play, build a full system, right? So we've taken advantage of Armory Crate from a software perspective. So you, now you manage the RGB on that, on the systems, you can manage it on all of your peripherals. So there is a significant value we see of this new partnership and being a part of ASUS. Is there any change in the way that these are being delivered? I remember from the Intel days, there were still these kits. Yes. Is that the same or is there is there a difference there? No, we're doing exactly that. So we know our customers love that choice. So yes, we will continue shipping kits, uh, but we will also be providing systems into the space. We expect to take advantage of the ASUS infrastructure to be able to reach further into retail and all of the places where we expect people who would like to buy pre-assembled systems to make them available. So we expect it to be kits and systems now. Well, that's that's fantastic. Again, it was so great to be reacquainted with the NUC, of course the ROG NUC. Yep. And again, from an earlier conversation I had, uh, this is gonna be an interesting meld of ROG, not ROG, yes. NUC, not NUC. Yes, Okay. Absolutely. Well, Fessel, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for talking to us. Absolutely, thank you for having me.